Sylvester Whitman is recognized as the world's greatest air race pilot and race plane builder. Over his seven decades of competing, Whitman raced in more races and has won more of them than any other pilot. His home-built aircraft designs were cutting edge. Several of Whitman's original innovations were patented, finding their way into thousands of production aircraft. Not bad for a poor kid from Wisconsin with only a high school diploma and one good eye. Sylvester Joseph Steve Whitman was born April 5, 1904, in Byron, Wisconsin. He was the fifth and youngest child of Martin and Mary Ann Bauer Whitman. An illness in infancy had claimed most of the vision in one eye. With a youthful fascination in mechanical things, especially airplanes, he thought his dream of flying unattainable. In 1924, at age 20, he designed and built a single-place aircraft with a 14-horsepower Harley-Davidson engine. Hardly airworthy, he named it the Hardly Abelson. But after buying a standard J-1 biplane with a friend, after eight hours of instruction, he sold it. From 1925 until 1931, Whitman operated a small flight service in Fond du Lac. He also barnstormed the area and was test pilot for a couple of small manufacturers. In 1926, Whitman began his air racing career, flying his standard at a Milwaukee event. In 1928, he competed in his first transcontinental air race from New York to Los Angeles. Later that year, with a medical waiver on his eyesight, Whitman received his pilot's license, signed by Orville Wright. Whitman moved to Oshkosh in 1931 to run his own flying service and manage the Winnebago County Airport. He designed and built his first closed course racer, Chief Oshkosh, which he raced in the Cleveland National Races that August. By 1934, Whitman built his second racer named Bonzo after a comic strip character. He flew Bonzo to a second place finish in the 1935 Thompson Trophy race. The modest, soft-spoken Whitman was already proving that one man with good ideas, despite limited funding, could race with the big boys. Though he lacked formal aerodynamic and engineering education, Whitman's aircraft were famous for their lightweight and innovative features, several of which he patented. A personal two-place design he built in 1937, named Buttercup, incorporated leading-edge flaps that allowed the plane to fly very slow, yet maintain level flight. Buttercup also featured a single-leaf spring steel landing gear Soon the major companies like Cessna adopted his landing gear system, still used by many manufacturers today. In the fall of 1941, Whitman married Dorothy Rady. He taught her to fly, and for 50 years, she was his biggest supporter and business partner. From 1940 to 1943, Whitman Air Service ran a flight school for the Civil Pilot Training Program where some 700 pilots were provided nearly 24,000 hours of flight instruction with no serious accidents or injuries. In 1945, Whitman designed and built his fourth aircraft, a four-place, single-engine, high-wing design he named Big X. With war's end, Whitman returned to racing, starting with the 1946 National Air Races in Cleveland. Flying a modified Chief Oshkosh, renamed Buster, Whitman's teenage employee and protege, Bill Brennan, won the inaugural Goodyear Trophy Race. In 1948, Whitman built a sister plane to Buster, naming it Bonzo in honor of his 1930s racer. Whitman's custom racers would be a dominant force through the 1950s. In 1953, Whitman designed and built the W8 Tailwind, later selling it in kit form to thousands. That same year, he joined a new organization, the Experimental Aircraft Association, as member number 38. He convinced EAA founder Paul Poberezny to hold the 1956 EAA fly-in at his Oshkosh airport, setting a course for future EAA conventions. In 1969, Oshkosh Airport was renamed Whitman Field in his honor. Whitman built his final race plane, Wits V in 1970 to compete in the new Formula V class. 
he became its first national champion and continued to win or place in every Formula V race through 1981, when he finally retired from racing. In 1989, at age 85, Whitman came out of retirement for one last race at the Daytona Skyfest, placing third. Whitman had raced in and won more closed course races than anyone in the history of air racing. At the age of 91, Whitman was still flying. However, tragedy struck in April of 1995. While flying his o and special from Ocala, Florida to Oshkosh, he and his second wife, Paula, perished in a crash in the mountains of Alabama. Tonight, the National Aviation Hall of Fame is pleased to honor the Dean of Air Racing, inventor, designer, and pilot, Sylvester J. Steve Whitman, for his lifetime of contributions to aviation.